Well, uh, this is real world. Uh, it's been like uh, four hours. I'm working with episode 12 on the program, and there is still something wrong on it. Uh, there is a problem on the um, decreasing the volume and going down to the mute. Uh, I actually started at Starbucks at around uh, 9 o'clock in the evening, and now it's uh, 1 o'clock. Oh, it's already 1.31 in the morning. And I'm not happy to go to bed uh, with the problem. So I try to um, fix it. Well, what about if I'm going to present to you first the 851 uh, I2C, the instruction, the subroutine, and those declarations uh, so that uh, you will have an idea how I make a program. While you are watching, I'm going to fix the problem, debug my program, and once I debug it, uh, I'm going back here and I'm going to test it. Uh, is that a good deal, guys? <laughs> All right then, let me start my presentation. Let's dive to that. All right, the iWires. Let's start the 8051 program to drive the TDA7449L. It should be nice if you have the basic knowledge, at least on how a microcontroller program runs. You may like to see my microcontroller basic tutorials from episode one to 10 and uh, the I2C implementation in episode 11. It should be nice also to know what is uh, digital tone control and equalization about. See the link on the description below to know more details. Let's have a shallow dive to the hardware. The I2C bus is a pin-to-pin -pin connection with the micro, the master, and the TDA7449, the slave, and um, it requires a pull-up resistor on the SDA and the SCL lines. But for the 8051 micro, there is no need for the pull-up resistor since uh, there is already an internal pull-up inside the micro. Well, uh, this is only for the 8051 micro. That would be another story if you are using AVR micro or probably PIC micro, ST, and other micro. There is another hardware that we need to add, and that is the two buttons for the uh, volume plus or volume up, uh, which is uh, connected as P0.2, and the volume minus or the volume down, which is uh, connected at the P0.4. Well, uh, that's all for the hardware now for the connection between the master and the slave and the additional switches. Before we continue, may I request to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button, click the like thumbs up should I deserve it, or click the dislike if I deserve that, share it to your audio DIY friends who might need it, and um, like DIY free learning like what I'm doing right now. Thank you for your support. Salamat po. Let's see the basic program instruction by configuring, declaring, and defining constant and variable for the micro and the TDA7449L. On the micro side, configure the port SDA, which is connected at P3.5, and the SCL, which is connected at P3.4. The TDA7449L ID will always be 136 that is decimal so I can treat this as a constant the functional address abbreviated as func address is the sub address on the I2C protocol this is a variable which hold different address like the input multiplexer the gain the volume and the balance them and uh, the function data or abbreviated as func data is also variable these two variables, I can make use of a byte types variable since the data do not exceed 256 or 256 and there is no negative numbers. The I2C routine is often called many times, so it is best to put into the subroutine and simply pass the uh, function address, the function data as a variable or can directly load the value on the calling instructions. Any value in these two variables on the calling instruction will be passed to the I2C subroutine. 
For example, if I want to enable the input multiplexer, I need to define the funk address as 0 and the input 2 as 2 and then I'm going to pass this data into the subroutine program. Based on the data sheet, when the TDA7449LIC is just a power on, means supply the plus 9 volts, the power on reset condition is in the mute condition. There is no output since the output is muted, but um, when you define the initial setting by supplying the funk address and the funk data correctly, you can program to enable the four function. Again, the four functions are the input multiplexer, the gain, the volume, and the balance. And uh, there you go, you have an initial setting. Well, uh, that's just the tip of the iceberg, as uh, to implement in the real world on a real front panel display as a human-machine interface, uh, you will need a system, a tag team of two modules, uh, the uh, DR100WCM, that is the control module, and um, the DR100WEQ, the equalizer and tone control module with the TDA7449L. This is the slave, which uh, you can find these uh, two modules on the DR100 concept project. For the sample program list thing, I would like to minimize the discussion and each of the instruction. Instead, I will discuss the PLD, the program language description, as follows. Let's start with the compiler directives which is uh, defining the hardware requires for the 8051, followed by configuration, like uh, configure I2C bus, the LCD, the volume plus, and the volume minus keys. And then uh, it comes the naming and defining the variables, constant um, and initialization, like the device ID, the funk address, the funk data, they should be in the byte types variable. And uh, here comes the main program. And uh, what the uh, main program do is that uh, it will simply detect uh, the volume plus or the volume minus keys. There you are, we reach the end of the program. I think it's uh, pretty straightforward, right? Eh? Yes, yes, uh, there it goes. Uh, I finally uh, fixed the problem. There's a little bit uh, on the uh, loop uh, counter that's uh, messing when I put down the uh, volume. There is that kind of things uh, messing up. Uh, so uh, I'm ready now to uh, test the uh, volume up and volume down for the TDA7449L. Alright, so there is no music and the level of the volume right now is minus 24 dB. There is no signal on the oscilloscope. There is no music right now. So I'm going to turn on the music from my PC and there you go. 3, 2, 1. There is a music signal in the oscilloscope and I can hear a little bit of the music. Let me increase that in a 1 dB step and let's see the um, signal on the oscilloscope. Four dB maximum.
reduce the volume now you can see this LED in here whenever I press uh, any of the button volume up or volume down it will blink uh, that is basically an MMI which uh, confirmed that uh, when I press the button it will blink uh, it's a confirmation of uh, pressing the button and we got the 44 db now that is 47 db right now and let me see we can still see some signal from the oscilloscope and when i'm going to press one more it's gonna be the mute let's see that that's the mute seems nothing more on the oscilloscope i can hear any music for curiosity's sake, let me just uh, show you the setup. Uh, my PC is in here, playing the uh, Windows Media Player for the music. Uh, and uh, I get the music uh, from the uh, speaker output. Uh, and then goes into the input. This is the input. Uh, and then this is the um, digital volume control runs by the TDA7449L. This is the one in here. And that is the equalizer, which is, uh, there is no function right now. This is the control. I uh, removed it uh, from the DR100W control module, so it will have no effect while I'm testing the um, volume control. And uh, this is the output. This blue line here goes into the um, IV uh, amplifier. And then... Uh, I hook up also the uh, oscilloscope on the uh, left channel so I can see the signal over there and the other one that is hanging in here this is for the programming to download the uh, firmware and there you go so this is the uh, Bascom uh, 8051ID which is um, I just uh, modify the program keep improving it uh, to access the volume control and this is the one, the um, STC ISP, to download the program. First, uh, download the program into the room of the uh, STC 90C516 RD Plus. And this one in here is uh, something to monitor the live music or the noise level in my room. <laughs> and uh, let's see to open the music right now. There we go. And that's the uh, music signal on the oscilloscope. Uh, at uh, what's the level of the volume right now? It's a minus 9 dB. Well, just a quick test if the program is working good or not uh, to increase or decrease the volume. And it's working. It's working. Thank you very much guys for watching and staying with me, staying in my channel so, with my tutorials so. and bye for now and see you in the next video. I can go to bed right now, I can go to bed, let's go. I still need to wake up at 7 o'clock tomorrow, okay, so let's power down everything, power down, let's go to bed.